me. Welcome to Victory Harbor. Let's worship the Lord today. He alone is worthy. Welcome to our service today. Let's just really get into God today. Today's sermon nugget is Waymaker. During the war, the young soldier was filled with fear. He was on a landing craft headed toward the beach. As he looked around at his squad members, he seen they were also filled with fear. They were getting very near the beach and terror was just really consuming them. When they got to the beach, the front gate laid down and they jumped off the boat and hit the beach. They were automatically, right then, instantly met by enemy machine gun fire. He looked around and he saw some of his squad members laying in the sand, blood going everywhere. He ran and he ran and he ran and he got to the edge of the beach and started going up into the jungle. And then he realized he was separated from his other squad members. And he could hear the enemy coming up behind him. So he started running up this big long hill. And as he was running, he was praying. Lord, Lord, send mighty angels to protect me. He kept running and he kept running. And he came to a cave. And he started to go into the cave, but the Lord said, no, not here. So he kept running and running and he said, Lord, send mighty angels to protect me. He came to the second cave and started to go in. But the Lord said, not here. He kept running and running and running and running and running. He come to a third cave. And he started to go in, but the Lord said, no, not here. He was almost at the top of the hill when he saw a little crevice in the rock, a real small cave. And the Lord said, go in here. Well, it was just barely room to get down and get in. And he began to pray, oh Lord, Send mighty angels to protect me. Well, he opened his eyes up, fully expecting to see the angels standing there. And he saw a spider spinning a web. He said, Lord, I asked for angels, and you give me a spider? Then he heard an explosion. And he realized that the enemy had reached that first cave and had thrown a hand grenade in. He began to pray harder, Lord, Lord, send your mighty angels. And he looked up, the spider was still spinning the web. Then he heard another explosion as they reached the second cave. And then another one as they reached the third cave. And he knew he was going to die. He prayed one more time, Lord, Lord, send your mighty angels. And he looked up, and the spider had just finished spinning the web. He heard the enemies approaching, and he seen them as they looked into the cave and point at the spider web. And they went ahead and left. And then he realized that that spider web, when they had seen that, they knew that nobody was in that cave. My God is a way maker. He'll even use a spider to deliver you. My God is a way maker. You may be in a desert right now. Everything's wrong in your life. It may seem that everything's dried, parched. There's no moisture. There's no hope. My God's a way maker. He'll put a stream in the middle of your desert. When you're totally hopeless, my God will give you hope. He's a way maker. When you're totally helpless, you can't do anything. My God's hand is big enough to reach all the way from heaven to earth and help you. My God's a way maker. My God's a way maker. Just maybe, just maybe, there's storms raging against you. Maybe nobody likes you, nobody understands. Maybe everything's falling apart. You're in a storm. My God is a shelter in the storm. Just maybe, just maybe you're trying to raise up that shield of faith. Satan's fiery darts are coming at you, but you don't have the strength 
to lift it. Remember Moses when they lifted up his hands. My God is able to reach and lift up that shield of faith for you. My God's a way maker. Maybe you're sick in body. Maybe you're hurting in pain. My God made a way for you at the whipping post. The Bible says that by His stripes you were healed. My God is a way maker. Let's go to the text today. It's Isaiah 55 verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not as your thoughts. And your ways are not my ways. This is the Lord's declaration. For heaven is higher than the earth. So my ways are higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. My God is a way maker. The city is surrounded by the enemy. The people inside the city are in great fear. They know that this army has destroyed every city they've come up and killed everybody in them. They're full of fear inside this city. It's got thick walls. There are sort of apartments in these walls. And when in one of these apartments there lives a prostitute. And she's also full with fear. She's heard about this enemy. And she's in terror. One day two strangers comes to her room. And she realizes they are spies from the enemy. All of a sudden the soldiers are coming. And she hides the spies. Those spies give her a scarlet thread to hang outside, a scarlet cord to hang outside her window. And she, they tell her that everybody that is in this room will be spared. My God's a way maker. He'll even use a scarlet thread. The Israelites surrounded the city and began to blow the horn and shout. The walls began to crumble. But Rahab's room didn't crumble. My God's a way maker. She and her family were delivered. He is a way maker. Elijah said there would be no rain and there was no rain. A famine come across the land. The waters dried up. But my God sent the ravens to feed Elijah. My God's a way maker. He'll make a way for you. Elisha and his servant are in the city of Dothan. The city is surrounded by the enemy. Elisha's servant is scared. And the Lord, Elisha says, Lord, open his eyes. There were mighty angels all around the enemy soldiers. My God's a way maker. My God struck that enemy blind. My God is a way maker. You may be thrown in a den of lions. But we can be like Daniel. Reach up and grab that lion's mane. Make him lay down and make him be your pillar. My God's a way maker. You may be thrown in that furnace of fire. Just like the three Hebrew children. But God, the fourth man in the fire, delivered them. If we throw, if we are thrown in a furnace of fire, we'll come out on the other side, not even smelling like smoke. My God is a way maker. Many, many years ago, I had a job, and my assistant was a Christian, and I was a Christian. And we liked to fast one day a week. We had a foreman that absolutely hated Christians. And he knew when we was facing, he made life hard on us. My friend said, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to pray. So we prayed, and the next day they moved him over on the other side of the plant in another department. And we had peace for about three months. 
After that, he come back with a vengeance. We tried to fight, he had raised Cain. We prayed again that evening, he went home, busted a hole in his head. We had peace for six months. He come back a changed man. My God's a way maker. He's a way maker. 2,000 years ago, on a hill outside Jerusalem, Golgotha, Calvary, the place of the skull. Jesus died on the cross. Give his life for us to put us back in relationship with God. He made a way for us. He made a way for you. Let's pray. Father, we love you and thank you for your mercy, your kindness, Lord, your goodness. Thank you, God, that you are a way maker. Thank you, Lord, that you made a way for us to be restored in Calvary. If anybody out there is lost today, save them. If anybody out there is in trouble, Lord, be a way maker to them. We thank you, Lord, and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, he's a way maker.